Right, hi everyone. So here we go again, step two. Um, oh, on a good note, this morning my bike was laying there on its side again. Getting used to it, sort of. Anyway, um, no damages, just a few scratches over old scratches, so it's fine, shall we say? Right, so modifications so far. Just a few accessories. I would say. I've removed the filter cover, put this um, rain sock, whatever it's called. Um, just because in the filter cover was, was on, on the way, shall we say. So I was hitting it with my, touching it more than that, with my right leg. And um, I mean, the, the, the paint started scrubbing off a bit, or maybe, yeah, not scrubbing, but you know, it became more matte than gloss. You know, when when, when you keep when you keep uh, scrubbing fabrics on it or anything else, I would say. Um, so yeah, this is this looks a bit better. I need to work on something on a, a cover because I don't like the metal plate that you can see in there. But still, is is alright so far for the moment. Um, yeah, oil cap with um, temperature gauge. Nice look. I don't like the digital one. I mean, I like it, but it wouldn't fit on this bike. Um, foot bags, new ones. Silencer look, same as um, grips. Yeah, looking good. Um, I actually bought the uh, a cover for the brake lever, rear brake le brake lever. However, I realized this for a, I think it's for a soft tail probably. So yeah, you have to screw it on there. So I would have to um, to drill a hole and then and then I can I can put the screw. Nothing too complicated. Um, yeah, nothing else so far. S silly things like these nuts, caps, so that they the nuts won't uh, won't rust. They don't come very cheap. They're like eight quid for eight. So yeah, it's, it's stupid money, but I mean, fine. Just a present, just a gift for my baby. Um, yeah, that's it so far. Really have to find something. I want. I want. Right. My my idea is to put a a string arm bag. However, I want the ones that come with the fuel bottle holder. If you know what I mean. Um, yeah, but I I want the right color as well. So oh yeah, by the way, this is the new plate smallish tiny i would say yeah nice i love it uh, what else okay that's yeah that's about it i'm just about to fit new exhausts and then i will have to find a new place to park it because as you can see this time is washed and you can see the scratches all the way down and on the pipe as well now uh, freaking people anyway okay that's it i'll keep you posted uh oh by the way thanks for su subscribing thanks for the comments um i must thank before everyone else um, Dell at 
Del Boys Garage. I know most of you guys already know him, but for those who don't, he's a really nice lad. Um, he's from England, he knows a fair, a fair good amount of things about mechanics and DIY, and you know, he's got, he's got experience and he's got a brain he uses. So even if he doesn't have the knowledge, specific knowledge, with common sense, it will, it will get around problems and, and give ideas and, and that is what um, that is what uh, inspired most of the people I know and, um, and yeah thanks right part three now um, removed all the heat shields and the mufflers I would love to hear noise now but don't want to wake up everyone well, wake up disturb everyone um probably i do i don't know we'll see um right so what i've got now is some wrap and new mufflers um that i need i want to fit to this bike a couple of doubts that I, I, I have is first of all I don't have new gaskets um, so yeah I will, I, I would have to hope that the old gaskets are still intact that's why I'm not sure I might just put the mufflers and sleeve the wrapping for another day just in case um, second thing, which is which made me think that m this might be the best solution, is O2 sensors. Their wire. Let me just try and better angle. Sorry for all the wobbling. Right. As, you, um, as I hope you can see. doesn't slip in to the O2 sensor. It's like it, it gets to the to the very end of the wire, it covers the wire. Yeah, let me just put it up a bit. And then there it's like detached as you can see. So I don't know if that is normal, that is fine. And it does it on both. Um, sorry. You see there as well? Plus, let's see. The auto sensor is a bit rusty. So, yeah, I will have to. I will have to clean it first. So, I guess a bit of WD 40. Let it rest for the night. Um, meantime, I'll put the, mu the mufflers and the old heat shields on, as opposed to the wraps. Uh, not sure whether this is normal. Well, the rust is going fine. I appreciate that, but the wire being detached. So I'm I'm already booked for next week with the dealer for a problem I had. So hopefully they'll, they'll take a look at this as well. Um, having said that, I'm pretty happy. But I would love to leave the bike as it is. Maybe with, with just some wraps. But yeah, no, I can do that. So yeah, this is another step towards my bike being mine. Catch you later. Here we go. Job done. The exhaust is fitted. Um, I still need to put the wrap on, but as I said before, I wasn't sure about the gaskets and everything else, so I wanted to change the exhaust first and then I'll do the rest another time. Um, I did leave the 
DB killer inside. As you can see, it's black. Yeah. I tried without. Definitely too noisy. And it's not bad like this. I'll give you an idea. So now, guys in the cars and pedestrian crossing will hear me because so far they were like just ignoring bikes. Hopefully, they'll be a bit more careful now. Um, I haven't touched this today. I spent the whole afternoon basically, as you can see. Sun's going down. Sunset now. Uh, it's about five o'clock ish. I think it took me, mm, I would say, probably, yeah, the, the whole afternoon. Four hours, five hours ish. I had to mount them and, and dismount them and remount them because, because of the DB killer. Um, yeah, I just tried them without, and it was insane. I mean, as you can as you can hear, he's still really loud right now. So, can you imagine without? It was like straight pipes. So yeah, too much, way too much for a urban um, reality. So yeah, let me know what you think, and yeah, appreciate the comments and the support. And if any if any of you knows a garage in London, in North London, yeah, please let me know because I am. Uh, Looking for one. Right, cheerio, bye. I'll stay home with my bruises and bones. Bruises and bones, bruises and bones. Just me and my bruises and bones. Just me and my bruises and bones.